how should a Muslim respond to the calamities that he or she faces due to what is written in his or her destiny? As I mentioned earlier, whenever any calamity befalls any human being, it is either a test or it's a punishment. If it's a punishment, like it's mentioned in Surah Hud, chapter number 11, verse number 82, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned the two cities upside down of Qamilut and showered brimstone of hard big layer upon layer, that means it's a punishment. So if it's a punishment, then that person should seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he should repent. He should stop doing that evil act, stop doing that sin, should promise not to do it again. If he can reverse it, he should reverse it and seek for Allah's forgiveness. If it is a test, like Allah says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 155, that surely we will test you with something of fear and hunger or loss in goods or lives or toils of your fruit and give glad tidings to the person who patiently perseveres. And further it's mentioned in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 156, that they are the people who say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi wa rajiun, that from him we come and to him is our return. So this talks about the people that are believer. If anything calamity befalls, if he is at fault, look into himself. If he's done some sin, he should immediately repent and ask for forgiveness. If it is a test, then he should patiently persevere. And he should have sabr and say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi wa rajiun. For example, if a person falls or if the death takes place or a person gets sick, the right thing as the Quran says, Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi wa rajiun. That from him we come and to him is a return. And it's mentioned in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 51. Say, nothing can happen except with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Allah is our protector. And tell the believers that put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's further mentioned in Surah Taqabun, chapter number 64, verse number 11, that no calamity can befall us except with the leave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let us have belief in Allah. For Allah is the one who guides our heart. And it's mentioned in Surah Azumur, chapter 39, verse number 10, that the reward is with those who patiently persevere, will truly have a reward. And it's mentioned in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 153. Ya ayyuhallazina amunus bi sabri wa salah, inna Allah ma sabri. That, oh, you believe, seek Allah's help with patience, perseverance, and prayer. For verily, Allah is with those who patiently persevere. So, a person should patiently persevere. And there's a hadith, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number four, hadith number 7138, the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, that strange are the ways of a believer. If anything good happens to him, he thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if any calamity befalls, he patiently perseveres. And yet, there's good for him in the hereafter. So whenever any calamity takes place, if he's at fault, he should rectify it. Otherwise, he should patiently persevere. For Allah says, seek help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with patience, perseverance and prayer. For verily, Allah is with those who patiently persevere. Jazakallah khair.